Welcome to this month's General Engineering Pro News Roundup. My name is Melissa and here are our top stories. Chiefs of 49ers. No matter who you supported in the Super Bowl this year, it was also a big night for green energy. The stadium, which seats up to 65,000 fans, was powered entirely by the Arrow Canyon Solar Project, owned by local utility NV Energy. The farm is made up of an impressive 621,000 panels, as well as battery storage. Other sustainable initiatives were implemented with a roof made from recyclable plastic material that provides climate adaptability and a long lifespan. Plus collecting an average of £12,000 of kitchen cuttings and food scraps which is donated to local livestock farms and used to feed animals. Intake data from the Universities and Colleges Admissions Service for September 2023 shows a 6.6% annual increase in the number of students entering a UK undergraduate degree in chemical process and energy engineering. UCAS's statistics also show an increase in the number and proportion of female students entering these courses, rising to 33% of total entry. The proportion of UK domiciled chemical engineering students from an ethnic minority group has also steadily increased, from 34% back in 2007 to 49% in 2023. iChemE CEO Yvonne Baker, OBE, said the growth in subject popularity is very encouraging for our profession, indicating a strengthening and increasingly diverse pool of talented students who are feeling inspired to study chemical, process and energy engineering at UK universities. Beaked whales are among the least studied mammals in the world. They live far from land and in deep oceanic waters where they search for food at depths of 500 metres and more. A study led by whale biologist Olga Filtova and Ivan Fuden from the University of Southern Denmark has uncovered new behavioural insights from the beaked whale species bird after a group were unexpectedly found in shallow waters near the coast of Commander Island back in 2008. The researchers observed a total of 186 individuals of the bird's beaked whale species at the Commander Islands over an 11-year period. This study has shown the established perception that all beaked whales roam far out at sea and in deep waters could be false. Electromagnetic Geoservices ASA has received a letter of intent from Equinor for a fully pre-funded multi-client survey in the North Sea. The company uses electromagnetic technology to support oil and gas companies in their search for offshore hydrocarbons. This improves exploration efficiency and reduces risks and the finding costs per barrel. The survey is expected to have a contract value of approximately $2 million and is expected to commence in the next month. The first turbine at the TAG Energy SA's Golden Plains wind farm in the Australian state of Victoria has been installed. The V162 6.2 megawatt machine by Denmark's Vestas Wind Systems is the first of 122 turbines with the park set to become the largest onshore wind park in Australia. The site will later be expanded into a 1.3 gigawatt complex that will be capable of producing enough electricity annually to supply over 750,000 local homes. And finally, Takeda announced the FDA's approval for Ahelia for treating people 11 years and older with the chronic inflammatory disease eosinophilic esophagitis. This makes Ahelia the first FDA sanctioned oral medicine for the condition that can cause painful damage to the esophagus, resulting in a difficulty swallowing. The condition affects about 1 in 2,000 people in the US and Takeda has estimated the medicine could reach $300 to $500 million in peak sales. And that's all we've got time for today. Don't forget to follow us on LinkedIn at NES Fircroft for your daily dose of engineering news, career advice and job vacancies. See you next time for our engineering news roundup.